What is up, YouTube? This is your boy, Connie Gary, back on the Jumani 041 channel. Welcome, 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 welcome. Hope you liked the video yesterday that I did on the Sega Prize figure of Chitoge from Nisekoi. Had a lot of fun doing it. And this is actually being filmed the day after I had already filmed that review or overview or whatever you want to call it. Very fun video. I love doing these types of videos. For those who don't know, just a little bit before I get into the actual review of these two figures right here which I'll explain in a second. I love anime. Anime is my second biggest passion besides shoes. I can talk anime all day. I'm trying to keep these videos shorter just so you guys can know what what's up with these figures. Need I love figure reviews. I love watching them. Today we're going to be doing a review of two really really just I think absolutely perfect statues of Luffy and Ace from one Piece. For those who don't know, I am a huge One Piece fan. Can't you tell by the hat? Can't you tell by the shirt? Can't you tell by the fact that I own these figures? For those who don't know One Piece, One Piece is one of the most famous animes of all time. Made by Toei Animation, the studios that brought you basically every show that you've ever watched, including Dragon Ball Z. These figures are made by Ban Presto, which is, incidentally is actually my favorite anime company brand. I know people are going to say, what about Good Smile? You love Good Smile. Yes, Good Smile is great, but the prices are can reach very, very high. With Van Presto, you can usually get figures for very cheap. Both of these figures cost me $30 each, so very happy to have them. And for those who don't know, this comes from the Marine Ford arc of the One Piece anime. One Piece has been going on since the late 90s, literally in manga and anime form, both forms. So this is from a sort of recent arc where Luffy tries to break his brother Ace out of jail. It's one of the more famous arcs in anime with a lot of great fight scenes, a lot of great comedy. One of the more tear-wrenching, heart-pounding moments in anime. So great figures, but you're not here to see me just talk about the anime. You're see the figures and see what they're like. So why don't we get right so to it? So here we have the Ban Presto figures of Monkey D. Luffy on the right and Portugas D. Ace on the left. Again, these come from the Marine Ford arc, which I believe is one of the best Shonen arcs. It's up there with Bleach's second arc, which is the rescuing Rukia from uh, the Sky Prison. It's up there with the Yu Yu Hakusho uh, tournament arc. It's up there with the DBZ Cell arc. It's one of the best arcs ever made and the main thing about this arc that makes it so great is the fighting it's a combat arc there's a lot of action going on and these figures reflect that being that this is an overview i don't want to get too crazy about it but if you have to say what is the biggest pro about this easy answer it's the details while i said before the jitoge figurine reflects that price which is 40 dollars and while these are both 30 dollars one of the great things is when you buy a Ban Presto figurine, which is the company that made this, they are as quality as anything you're going to get, and I will stand by that statement. I understand that good smile, you're going to get an incredibly detailed figurine. However, you're going to pay over $100 and up to $150 for that figurine. With Ban Presto, you're going to pay a fraction of the cost, and you're going to get as good a quality as anything I think that Good Smile is going to put out. Yes, these figures are smaller and that is one of the uh, cons to this figurine that they are much smaller. They're only about four inches tall. Yes, the bases of the figurines, and I'm going to turn Luffy sideways so you can see the big problem. As you can see right here, he's about, he's a little bit off the ground and that's not good. It's not the most stable thing in the world. He is a little bit teetery. Yes, the bases aren't as stable as I would like. That said, detail-wise, it's impeccable. And I think the camera is showing you that. The fire detail is incredible. Faces, Ace is emanating the fire. For those who don't know, he's called Fire Fist Ace. He's able to shoot fire and conjure up fire at will. He looks ripped. He's got incredible details on his abs, incredible details on the calves. You don't have a weird backwards knee. The clothes look great, hairs look great, the faces look great. Everything is incredibly detailed. For a $30 figurine, these things really capture the moment. Again, if I had to make one big con other than the base, it's just the size. I wish these were a little bit bigger. I would pay $50 easily for a much bigger figurine of these. That said, I think these still can command the attention and command the center of a centerpiece. 
because of how detailed they are. These are a must have for any One Piece fan. I cannot believe that these are so cheap. I highly suggest you get them now while you can. So that's gonna be it for the video, everybody. I sincerely thank you all for watching. Like I did with the Chitoga figurine, I'm gonna give these a numerical score out of 10, just so you have some basis on what I am judging on. And while I said that these had some problems specifically, I wish these were taller and I wish the bases weren't as stable. Detail-wise, like it does with shoes, that's the biggest factor for me. And you cannot beat these in details. Trust me, I've seen a lot of One Piece figurines in my time and you cannot get better than this. So with that said, I think this is a 9.2 out of 10. Call me biased if you will, but I think this, I, I mean, the God is in the details and God is in these details. Like, that's how good they are. And especially at $30, you have to take the price into account. $60 total, that's less than half of a good smile figure, you know, Luffy. You gotta go with these. And with that, I'm officially gonna end the video. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Like the video, please comment on the video, like the video, and subscribe if you wanna see more videos like this one. Series is gonna continue. Don't know exactly what anime figure we're gonna do next, however, just because of Anime Expo tomorrow. I don't know if I'm gonna get a figure there that I really wanna do a comprehensive review on or if I want to do something in my collection first. So if I'm going to be doing something in my collection first, it is going to be the Panty and Stocking Panty Anarchy Mendoroid. One of my favorite, favorite, ah, I know I, I shouldn't be saying favorite, but it, she is one of my favorite female characters from one of the funniest animes that I've ever seen. I love Panty and Stocking with Garter Belt. It's made by my favorite group of people who form Studio Trigger. So, that's going to be my next review, possibly not pro not going to promise anything, but time to end this, time to wrap this thing up, so I guess it's time to hit y'all with the peace.